Hello everybody and welcome back again to another episode of Mass Effect where we have arrived at this picturesque beach on Vermeer at the Salarian camp and I think the first order of business is that I have to talk to Rex because um, he's not in a good state as you can see he's kind of upset and the reason for that is simple uh, let's have a look at the journal maybe so we actually got a quest for that, Vermeer, Rex and the Genophage. Saren appears to have discovered a cure for the Genophage and is breeding an army of Krogan. Rex is furious that Captain Kirahi wants to destroy the cure, the captain is worried about Rex's state of mind and doesn't want to continue if Rex is going to be a problem. So yeah, let's, let's go and talk to him and let's hope he's not going to be a problem. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Um, yeah, you know, to be honest, I think this whole business with the genophage is kind of messed up. I mean, presumably, um, the Krogans were infected with the genophage because they were, like, spreading too fast. But, you know, even if that would somehow justify it, According to Rex, it's actually driving the Krog into extinction, so um, we're talking about genocide here. I mean, it's pure and simple genocide using, you know, biological warfare. So if it was my call, I would say, yeah, we, we should actually try to get the cure and not destroy it. Calm down, Rex. I'm not the enemy here. Saren's the one you should be mad at. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. Yeah, like I said, if it was my call, I would say we don't destroy the cure, but um, I get the feeling that it's not my call and I can only try to convince him that we should destroy it. But yeah, it's not that simple. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon, and if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Uh-oh. Um... Yeah, I would like to think we're doing it for the right reasons. And I mean, she brought up a good point. If if Saren is succeeding with his plan, then the cure isn't going to mean anything anyway. So obviously stopping Saren has the higher priority here. Um, but again, I, I don't really feel good about destroying the cure either. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren, tools. Is that what you want for them? No, we were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. <laughs> Alright, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Alright. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. <laughs> that, that was a bunch of Paragon points. Wow. But um, yeah, I, I can I can understand him. I can totally understand Rex, and that was actually easier than I feared it would be. And I believe, yeah, I'm at full Paragon now. I was al almost full already before this. I was just missing a tiny, tiny piece, and now I'm actually completely Paragon. I have a good amount of Renegade too, though. <laughs> so yeah, um, let's let's have a look around this place before we continue. If we're doing this, then let's go. Yeah, um, give me, give me a few more minutes to check out this place, and apparently I can talk to my companions over here. Your ability to calm the Krogan is impressive. <laughs> well, it wasn't really that difficult. I'm surprised you were able to reason with a Krogan. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, I don't, I don't have the skill for that. I, I need some tech guy in my, in my crew, right? I see, I see. Ah, and look at my ship over there. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> anyway, let's let's look around a little bit more. 
I'm surprised that Krogan yielded to your argument. <laughs> well, why why not? He's he's my my bro. Also, I kind of like you know the special armor for the Solarians. It looks very interesting. Um, yeah, I'm not going to talk to this guy because I think this actually. It's rare to see a Krogan accept reason. You command exceptional loyalty. <laughs> well, thank you. Because I think this is the guy we have to talk to to continue our quest. Yeah, talk to Captain Kihari. So I'm not going to talk to him now. Until I've looked around a little bit. Nice work with Rex. I didn't think anything would calm him down. <laughs> it won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Normally I wouldn't think much of Solarians in a firefight, but these soldiers seem well trained. <laughs> okay, okay. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. <laughs> Tali, why don't you help me with this thing over here? Tali. Tali! Well, I guess it's not going to happen. <laughs> Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. Um, you can't have much, can you? Just tell me what you have available. We have limited reserves. We requested a fleet to destroy Saren's base. Instead, they sent <laughs> you. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do my best to destroy his base anyway. But yeah, show me your supplies. Let me see what you have. What little there is. All right, let's see. Um, well, I'm buying your Medigel upgrade. And I'm going to buy your license. Um, I'm not sure if this is for any of my light armor wearing guys. But, you know, considering the amount of money I have, I may as well buy it. So, yeah. And... I don't know, I suppose I can also sell you some of the crap that I picked up on my way here. I'm pretty sure that most of this isn't better than what I have. Most of my companions have, you know, some of those Spectre gear as their primary weapon. So, most of this isn't probably going to be better. Oh, and I'm already maxed out of money, so I shouldn't be selling stuff anyway. Okay, okay. Um, Right, if there's nothing else for me to find, I suppose I'm going to talk to Captain... Um, what was his name again? Let's have a look. <laughs> Kirahi, yeah, right. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a quick save and speak to him. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. So, you've got a plan? I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss uh -huh. his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Okay, and where would that be? Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Huh. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it does sound kind of risky. We won't be able to meet their force head on. Definitely not. But I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. Well, I suppose it might work. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. <laughs> but it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. <laughs> well, that is a bold request. You expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all soldiers by trade. If your people are not prepared to face such a risk, would you really want them by your side? <laughs> He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. 
Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Salarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? <laughs> um, yeah, Captain, who would you prefer? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary, though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Ooh, okay. Well, that's, that's an interesting decision. Um, hmm. Well, they're both volunteering for it. And apparently they're both equally qualified, so... I don't know, I don't know. I think what Ashley said makes sense. I mean, she's a soldier, so I guess she would be maybe better match for the infiltration team. And he's, you know, the tech guy. He can set up the bomb. I don't know. It, it makes sense to me to divide it like that. Okay, so yeah, sure, take, take Ashley. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Um, let's see. So I hope you have an exit plan for your strategy. The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. <laughs> if we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs <laughs> to a greater cause. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, that sounds kind of dangerous. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Well, that is right. Um, yeah, what about the other teams? Shadow seems clear enough. What would the other teams be called? Eigor, Manovai, and Jeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony oh. worlds. They are at the heart of Salarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. Okay, okay. And um, yeah, recap the mission for me. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA gun so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. All right, and tell me about the nuke again. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop hmm. it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Okay, okay, I think I I understand the plan. Um Well, I think I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I, there's really nothing else that I have to do first, right? So yeah, let's go. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, mm -hmm. LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Uh, what is it? Is there something you want to say, Chief? I, I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... <sighs> it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Well, don't don't speak like that. You 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 talk like like you're not coming coming back again. So yeah, let let's kick some ass. Whatever happens, everyone just keep shooting. We go in hard, hit them harder, and we'll be the only damn thing that comes out the other side. Right. You bet, Commander. <laughs> ah. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life, but I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. <laughs> or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. 
Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. <laughs> Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. You too, you too, Captain. That was a very inspirational speech. I liked it. I liked that. Okay, so yeah, actually I can't I can't take Ashley in my party anymore. Okay, okay, this is going to be interesting. Um Let's take Garrus and Rex. How about that? And off we go. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Um, yep. Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Um, alright. Also, apparently we're all wearing the, the green camouflage. That's very nice. Okay, so, um... Where are we now? Base approach. Ooh, this is... This is an extensive map. Okay, so... I guess our first stop would be the communications tower. Maybe let's read the journal. Search for ways to slow the gas defenses. Kirari and his men are attacking the base head on, the base head on in hopes of diverting the attention of the gas. Though your primary mission is to infiltrate the base unseen, Kirahi has asked you to keep an eye out for ways to frustrate and slow the gas defenses. While you make your way into the space, keep an eye for opportunities to sabotage the gas defenses. Okay, okay. Right, let's go guys. Let's go. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Chief Williams, with Igor team. Manovai, Jayato teams, move! Time to get some attention. Alright, alright. Let's... Get the sniper rifle going. There we go. There's somebody over there as well. I know that you are there. Oh, he's he's on top of this, right? Let me get a little bit closer. Let's get rid of these shields. Ha! That was a nice shot. There's still at least one person though. Oh well, guess I suppose. And I may not be able to get him from here, so. Manovai is under coordinated crossfire. Check for long range turrets to the guest target. Alright, there's one over there. Well, you could try I guess he's not coming out of hiding. Okay, in that case. I'm going after you. Here we go. It was nothing. Oh, it's it's a damn destroyer. Of course. Of course. <laughs> oh dear. And a trooper. Well handle a shock trooper. Alright. <laughs> Good work guys. So what am I looking at here? Weapons locker. Um, yeah, let's try to hack this. There we go. Triangulation tower disrupt. Um, sure. Get communications disrupted. Ah, okay, okay. So Perimeter this is secure. what they what they mean by sabotaging them. Okay, okay, I can I can handle that. Um satellite uplink tower refueling platform. I feel that I should check out all these labeled places and maybe we should go here first. Oh I see. Something scrambled, they're targeting. We've got a shot. 
Chief Williams, take the heat off Malavai. Huh. Well, that may have been us, actually. There, there's guests somewhere around here. I know that you're here. Um, where the heck? Okay, this is weird. Anyway, we're going to ignore this um, enemy. <laughs> Alright, alright, where are you guys? Um, well, you're seeing enemies that I don't see. Okay, now I see something. <laughs> they are quite well hidden though. Alright. Yeah, I'm not sure about that enemy over there. I'm just going to ignore that. So, um... Let's, let's see where we want to go next. Oh, 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 that's a drone. Um... Drop it? I can, okay. They're calling sat strikes. Dieto, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? Um Satellite Uplink Tower. Okay, yeah, let's let's check out the satellite uplink tower. Uh more troopers. Satellite uplink disrupted. Um I don't know how I did that, but apparently I did it. Oh, he has some Krogans. Okay. Well, that is a little bit more difficult. But... What the hell are you firing at? I don't... I don't understand you guys. Um, let me pick up some Medigel. See if there's anything else of interest around here. Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. Um, there's a rocket trooper over there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there was a rocket trooper over there. And oh, oh, another destroyer. Um, let's throw the bastard. There we go. Um yeah, maybe let's go to the refueling platform first. But this is not the right way. Um somewhere over here. Um Yeah, I think it's over here. Okay, okay. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, let's... Ha! <laughs> that was beautiful. Um, can you maybe help me with these guys over here? Drone. Get, to get some immunity just in case. That one's down, and that one's down, and guess fly is destroyed. Man, I'm getting a bunch of Paragon points for this That's as well. It. Bag attack. Complete waste of them because I'm already at 100. Um, hmm. I kind of want to check out this side of the area as well. Also, can I actually? I got quick save. Very nice. There are no more enemies in the vicinity. Um, yeah, let, let me check out this side as well. Because this is probably 
where I need to go eventually. Um, it's suspiciously quiet. Well, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Uh, let's use warp and an overload. And oh, there's there's one more. Um, we need to throw you away. And of course, you came back from the dead. But now you're dead, right? Yeah, these krogans are tough. Krogans are tough. But not tough enough. Alright, no, he's dead. Hmm. I, I would like to think that uh, Rex already has a pretty good armor. Yeah, look at that. Nothing, nothing I can give him that would be better than that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's worthwhile to look around this place a little bit more. I don't want to miss any any chances chances for sabotage, you know. But I'm. I'm not seeing anything. All right. Um, in that case, let's head back. I guess. Um, what is this? Great kid. Huh. Take it. Oh. Huh. Let's get rid of some shields. Clear. Not seeing any enemies around though. I would try to snipe them from here, but <laughs> that's not possible. Alright, uh yeah, let's Let's have a look at the research facility. Look at all those shields! Who put up all those shields? Uh, I'm getting jammed, so there must be gas. I see, I see a sniper over there. We may be getting some help from Shadow. Ooh, hoo, hoo. okay, um... Um, I can snipe you as well, you know. There we go. And there's another one over there. And done. Uh, let's deal with the Krogan. Um, give me some immunity since I don't have any cover in this area. I need to use other methods. There you are. <laughs> okay, and um, oh, oh, that's that's another Krogan. Uh, let me get out my assault rifle again. I think it'll be better. Um, little help here. <laughs> Ooh, uh, uh. And of course, he's not, not dead yet. But he's dead now. Alright, alright. Let's have a look around. Huh. Yeah, again, I don't think, don't think this is better than what I have. Facility entrance, facility entrance. There are two of them. Maybe I should have a look at this first. It's, it's 
kind of unclear whether one of them is a dead end or not. Um. Well, this is a phantom door. This is actually here. Okay, in that case, uh, let me let me check that door over here. <laughs> because this one is definitely there. Oh, hang on, hang on. Shadow team must be getting close. Hold the line, men. Hold the line. Right, hold the line, guys. Uh, we are we're trying to help you. Let's take it. Well, that was a random level up. Um, level 50. I'll take more fitness. And you can... I don't know. Get more into warp or whatever. Why have you, do you? Why do you have so many points? I haven't leveled you up for a while, apparently. I didn't realize that. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, yeah, let's quick save and continue. Music is getting intense again, so we must be on the right track, right? <laughs> access base security. We've got access to base security. We should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear out the guards for us, but they might be too much for the Salarian teams to handle. Um. Yeah, they've got enough trouble. I think it, it's okay this way. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. All right, all right. Um, okay, that's that's a bunch of guards, so um, indoctrinated. What? What? What's going on here? Oh, oh, um, gas destroyer from the left. <laughs> there we go. Um, I think I, I have all of them over here. Oh, and, and another gas destroyer. Seriously? I hate these guys. Alright. Solarians? Right. The captain said he had lost some men. And apparently they were indoctrinated and are now fighting for Saren. Huh. Okay. Um, oh, uh, hello. Hello, my friend. Yeah, the Spectre Gear weapon is almost kind of OP, <laughs> but I love it. I really love it. So, got everything in here. Warehouse maintenance to base exterior to detention cells to lab to labs. Huh. Where do I want to go first? Let's go to the detention cells. If I can actually go there. I only see this door <laughs> over here. Okay, um... Where, where am I? Oh, I'm over here now. Uh, okay, okay. Hello? Is someone out there? Uh, yeah, who's talking? Hm. 
Oh, uh, more indoctrinated Solarians. Give a little ground, Williams. We don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. Okay, okay, now we can now we can go to uh, the detention cells, right? Okay, let's have a look at this. Oh, I see. I see. They seem to be empty. No, they're not empty. There's Sadarians inside. Let's investigate. Oh, well, you're not a gath. And you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. <laughs> Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? Well, I'm sorry, but I'm all you get. The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat, and far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. All right, tell me about it. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms, progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. Turn them into empty husks. I can't end up like that. Please, let me out. <laughs> well, I don't know if I can trust this guy, but I mean, even if I let him out and he tries to turn on us, it's not like those Solarians are that hard to kill, you know, the other indoctrinated Solarians. So I don't think I'm in, in, in any grave danger here if I, can let him, if I let him go. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. No problem. <laughs> There's nothing left of them. Ah, oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure, but to leave them like this. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Let them Open out. the doors. Give them a chance to outrun the blast. Are you sure? We should at least in this state they are in. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's if they're a threat, but we will find out sooner or later, right? Let them out. They won't hurt us. Yes, Commander. Slave. It calls, and I must follow. I am only what it wants me to be. <laughs> that, that is kinda sad. But yeah, I don't know, maybe maybe they'll make it, maybe not, but um no reason to kill them myself. All right. Um, let's let's go back to the next level. Um, can I save here? Yes, I can. That's very good because um, the episode is is long enough. So I think I'm going to make a cut here. And yeah, in the next episode we will try uh, to continue our infiltration of this base. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and see you again next time.